Okay, so I just about have my wall done. And the light is kind of really bad, but uh, we're going to kind of... This is the... Uh, it's the... Um, it's the daily schedule in use at the Monastery of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Society of St. Peter, it's, it's actually a good one. We get up at 3 a.m., rise. Um, 3 a.m., 3.30 matins, 5.30 lauds. 8, they have private mass, mental prayer. And then they have 7 breakfast, 7.30 prime, 9.30 terse, and then a commission mass, uh, 7.45 sext, um, Nine to two. Then we have Vespers at five thirty. Oh, great. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry for the interruption, but uh, and then let's see Vespers, dinner, and then they got uh, Compline at seven thirty, and then they retire at eight, which you know that's that makes sense considering they have a uh, they get up at three o'clock in the morning, which is I mean that's perfect, you know that's the way it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I can put my light so it's not too much of a... So on top of that I have John Vianney, of course. You know, that's uh can't figure out where to put this thing in light. John Vianney. And this calendar here, this is the one that I got from... Um, this is a 62 calendar that I got from the Society of the Holy Family in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And that, is that supposed to be Peter? Yeah, the chair of St. Peter. Anyways, there's the picture. Um, what did I pay? Nine bucks for this? But this one... I mean, it's a 62, and uh, but anyways, the, the qual it's got the ring too, which I like, but what I will say, I mean, the quality of the paper in the printing is, is bar none. Uh, the, the, the thickness of the paper, uh, the, the quality of the print work, um, you can, yeah, you can tell why these, I mean, they've been doing it since 81, and again, it's a 62 calendar, as you can tell, you know, 62, how he's, oh, I can't, it's, it's not giving me a... There we go. All I do is click that button. Uh, whenever you see like a third class, second class, third class, you know. But the nice thing, there's two nice things about this calendar that I like. Is that uh, if you see on here, um, they'll actually put saints. There. It's not on the calendar, but they're kind of important. Like St. Margaret of Cortona Penitent, and she's in parentheses. Um, they'll have saints like that on there who aren't technically on the calendar. Or may have been at one time, and um, I'm trying to find if there's another one for um, St. Bernadette Subaru. I didn't realize hers was the 18th. I don't know when they added that, but uh, yeah, you flip through the pages and you can see others like that, St. Margaret of Cortona, which I'm not going to do. But uh, on, And then the second thing is on the back side of that calendar. Is, it's just, well, that's, you know, and then let's see. I don't know who that is, who those doorknobs are. And then we can go up here. We've got the Queen of Heaven. And I always like that picture, kind of a penitential. And, uh, uh, crucifix. I don't know who, who made that. Who was responsible for, um, but, um, and then Our Lady, Our Mother Perpetual Help at the Memorare, because I always like that image. Um, let's see here. There was, like, a way to put this on here so that it would be, a. Uh, Kind of neat, kind of gives it a nice, nice shadow on the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, crucifixion. Oh, I got that thing stuck in there. That's not good. The strap, but, uh, Lent's coming up here, so. So then we come over here, and we got my, the February that I do. This is from Tradizio, so this is, that's what that is. And then. If you go up, another it's another picture of the crucifixion that I, from an art perspective, that I've always stumbled across. And I just, I don't know, there's just something about this image with the uh, skull and bones down there, Mary Magdalene position, and Mary and John, the way they were drawn. And then the background, too, with the soldier and outside Jerusalem, and in the, with the, I don't know, that's the sun, I guess, the, I don't know. But just the way our Lord, you know, it's just, um, yeah, I just... Uh, I became very impressed with uh, how the blood runs down. Well, I added the blood to it. There was no blood on it, but on the side, I added that. 
to his hands. I had to add that. And then I put it down the cross, and then I had it come out down there by the bones. But, uh, but uh, just, you know, the way his face, you know. And, of course, in Latin. And then, if we come down here back to the calendar, we'll go on this side of the calendar is the Last Supper, of course. And that's my favorite picture of the Last Supper with all the saints. Can anybody spot?